Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Asus laptop. This one is an Asus VivoBook Flip 14. The exact model is a TP410U. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to speed up the laptop dramatically, like a humongous speed by upgrading the hard drive to an SSD drive because the mechanical drive that they do come in here is like a is the bottleneck for the CPU. Once you upgrade it to an SSD drive, doesn't matter what brand, I would recommend you with the Samsung brand or Crucial brand. Do not go with any of these cheap Kingston or A Data brand. And this will improve like a humongous the performance of the laptop. This applies for any VivoBook Flip 14. Doesn't have to be exactly the model, the TP410. This applies for any VivoBook 14. All right, the things that you need first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it over. And then you need, obviously, your hard drive. This client that brought in a Kingston is like, a, he wants to put the Kingston. I'm not going to argue with that. Oh, but I would recommend you with a Samsung brand. But if you have the Kingston, go ahead. It's cheaper, but they won't last longer. You need a screwdriver set. I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. And you can get the pro version of this screwdriver set, which they'll include you at tweezers, opening tools, and uh, many other stuff, accessories. Or uh, for the opening tool, you can use a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers and electronics. All right. Uh, for the tweezers, I'm going to be using a curved tweezer. All right. Down here, now we're going to open it up. Once you have the power off to the laptop, you're going to start removing all the screws. There's uh, two or three types of screw on the bottom cover. The front row of the screws are the short screws. The mid towards the back are the long screws. I don't know if this laptop was opened by somebody else before or no. I realized the screw on the right side in the corner on the back is a little bit shorter than the other ones. So pretty much I have the medium short screws in the front and everything has a long screw and the only medium screw is the one on the right side. So let me know in the video comment if you guys have the same uh, screw here. So pretty much should be three types of screw. Otherwise, you should have the long and the short ones. Go ahead and remove the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos and helps you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can click that like and you know, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. It will be a great help and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. Also, I'm going to use a magnet beside my screw to make life easier to pull the screws out. So this is a screw that looks a little bit like a one millimeter shorter than the rest. So there is the one. So I have the short the front end, the mid towards the back, and the single right back screw, which is a little bit shorter than the rest. All right, once you open up, it removes all the screws. All you need to do is grab the guitar pick or the opening tool. And you want to go ahead and flip the laptop 360 degrees backward. All the way to the back and in this position we are gonna start uh, putting the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that and all you want to do is just rotate it towards the front like this go all the way towards the front end to the right and the left side you want to hear those clicks that's what you want to hear To the sides once you did those now you want to lift up from the front there's a tiny clips in the middle if you lift it up correctly it will should snap those the clips in the middle you lift it up a little bit don't yank on it because there are a few flex cables in there you want to lift up the back side lift it up a little bit and shift it towards the right side a little bit so you have more uh, cables here to work around so grab the to remove the flex cable for the keyboard, you have to lift up this black cover at the back, put your finger in there and lift it up 90 degrees, and then slide out the flex cable to the other side. 
The trackpad, same thing, just pull it from the back side, bring it up this contact right here, and slide the flex cable. I'm just gonna go over this contact right now. Same thing for the backlight. Lift it up and pull out the cable. Let me show you guys. So this was for the keyboard. So it's this position, you wanna lift it up from here, 90 degrees, and slide the cable that way. For the trackpad, same thing as that one. Lift up the, from the backside, the black one, 90 degrees, and slide the cable out. For the backlight, it's the same one here, up and pull out. All right, now down here, you're gonna see the hard drive is right here. This is Seagate one terabyte hard drive. To remove the hard drive, it's been, uh, the hard drive is being held down by a carry bracket, a metal bracket, has a uh, six screws on them. So one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Go ahead and remove all the six screws. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process. Absolutely, it's not necessary to disconnect the battery to do this process. Once you remove the six screws, just lift up the back end a little bit. So it becomes a little higher than the speakers right here. Just a little bit, just like that. And then you just wanna slide it back, just pull it out. So it will disconnect it from there. Now, this we're gonna need the hard drive here. It has to be in the same position. The contact has to be facing in the same direction. You can't put it that way around. And we're gonna remove the two screws on this side and two screws on this side. We're gonna remove the bracket and slam it right on top of this one. The aluminum paper, you don't need to leave it there with the old one, or if you wanna remove it, put it on the new one, doesn't make any difference. And once you remove the caddy, just pull it out. If you want, go ahead and rip this one out from here and put it on the new one, or simply leave it there. As the solid state drives, they don't heat up like that one, and those are to protect the circuit, which is on the back side of this one. So for the circuit, so you don't need actually that sheet right there. So grab this one here and align the screw holes and put the screws on the caddy. The SSDs are a little bit lower profile than the mechanical drives. So if you get a little bit of more space, don't worry about it. So once you remove the mechanical drive, you can put a solid state drive in here, or you can remove the whole motherboard, and there is an M.2 slot on the other side of the hard drive uh, motherboard. So we're gonna remove the whole motherboard to get to that M.2 slot right in the other side. So you can either keep the uh, format that one and leave it as extra storage and remove this one, but if you wanna go through the hassle of removing the whole motherboard to replace your M.2, yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna remove everything and to get to there. We remove the hard drive and by removing six screws. Now we're gonna remove the screw right in here. This one over here, this one, and this one to be able to remove the battery. We will remove the screw for the Wi-Fi board and you wanna lift up the Wi-Fi and bring it to the side and put it right here. And for the battery, I remove the battery. To remove the battery is really simple. All you need to do is to put your screwdriver right underneath and lift it up right like there, and it will release the jack. All right, once we remove the Wi-Fi board and the screws for the batteries, now we're gonna lift up the battery right here and put it to one side. We're gonna remove the flex cable, unhook it from this side, put your finger at the back and unhook the lock, slide out the flex cable. We need to remove the speaker cable just by pulling this cable back. We need to untangle the flex cable for the touch screen. So as a little adhesive, just lift it up, bring it up. And down here, you wanna pull the jack from the side with your fingernail, the, the white jack back. Don't pull the cables. The LCD cable right here. Pull the jack back gently. To remove the motherboard, there is one screw right here, one screw right there, and two on the hinges. Once we finish it, that, we're just gonna lift up the motherboard gently. We're gonna lift it up here. From this side, you wanna help it out with the tweezers. Just bring it up a little bit. 
the heat sink goes under those hinges right there. So bring it up and slide it this way up towards the other side so we can release the, this side. And on the other side, there we have it. We have the extra random and then M.2 SSD hard drive here. So you can replace your M.2 SSD hard drive right over here. Put the new one in to remove the M.2 SSD hard drive. It's really simple, just unscrew it, remove it, pull it out, and that's it. Just grab the new one. You can put an NVMe drive. This is a PCI Express, so you can put an NVMe drive in here. Bring it down in 15 degrees, 10 degrees, all the way towards the jack, towards the motherboard, and put the screw right in there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the motherboard, flip it upside down, and we're gonna put the jack side down first. Make sure the cables are not on the way. And set it down, put the connector for the speaker. People usually forget that, that's why I put it first. The flex cable for the LCD. Okay. Grab this flex cable for the trackpad. I mean, for the touch touch screen. Before we put it, let's put the tiny screw right there. The the screws for the motherboard, so the one goes right underneath here, and the other one goes right over here. And the one right away here. So now we can tape it down. You can use a gaffer's tape. This is a gaffer's tape to keep them in place. Run the cable on, on the back side and first connect it towards the jack straight in and then just snuggle it right in there. Connect the bridge cable right here, the flex cable. Bring it over and put it right there. Lock it down. Grab the battery. Put it right on top, grab the Wi-Fi board, slide it right into the jack and bring it down and put the tiny screw for it. Uh, you're going to grab the SSD, you're going to bring it down in 45 degree angle right through the jack, push it in and push it towards the bottom case. And the last thing here, down here, is to put all the six screws on the caddy to hold it in place. And once, uh, remember, once you do all this update and uh, replacement, you will not have any operating system installed in the hard drive. You need to grab yourself a Windows 10 USB boot drive and plug it in and install it uh, right in here. If you want to know how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive, you can check my video, uh, the link in my video description. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. And I made another video how to install them on a the laptop. It's really simple. You just plug it in here and turn it on and it's just going to read through the USB boot and it's going to take you to an installation process. All right, once you have this one in here, now you're going to plug in all the cables here. So let me see if I can put it like that. So we're going to bring it, I'm going to shift it always a little bit towards the right side here towards the, what port is it, charge port here. So I get a little more room to work around. So I'm gonna open up the lock from the back and slide down the flex cables in one and the trackpad. Once you got these two in here, you want to grab the, open up the, for the keyboard, bring it here so you get more room to work here. Slide it from the back side. All the way in. And lock it down. Once you did that, all you want to align it. Put it right straight over. And you want to push the corners down, push the back and pinch the top and the bottom cover. You see this gap right there? Just pinch them and go all around.
And the last thing would be to just flip it back in a normal position and put down the bottom screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, please click the like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.